All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm very excited to be unboxing the brand new Binding of Isaac Four Souls Requiem Big Boy Box. So I've been waiting on this box for a long time. I've kickstarted this for, I think, about two years or a year and a half ago. And it finally came in, came with the sick Isaac's hat that I bought separately. And it also came in with these little cards. Uh, these are basically cards where you can um, make your own characters, make your own item, do whatever you want. Uh, for context, for people who don't know, this is the Binding of this is an expansion to the Binding of Isaac board game. Uh, I don't have it on me, but essentially, there was a whole Kickstarter just for this uh, DLC, basically, and it finally came in. It's taken a while. As you can see on the back, it's a really cool golden chest design, like from the game. We have Isaac. We got it there. We got Guppy, Monstro, and on the on, underneath, we have a little more details. We got the poster. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm not fully. I've been in the game plenty of times, but I haven't fully been it. We have a little uh, authenticity right there, guarantee. So you know this shit's legit. Super happy, like I said. Been waiting on this for a long time. So with enough talking, let's get straight into this. I want to see what this is all about. Shoutouts to Edmund, by the way, man, for making Isaac, dude. I just, I'm genuinely in love with this series. And the fact that there's now an expansion on the board game that me and my friends play, we have, we have a lot of fun with it, honestly. So just more content's pretty cool to have. Uh, as you can see, uh, normally th this this is a big product, and I'm normally in my uh, in my room, in front of my monitor, as you guys can tell. Uh, but I just needed all this space because this is too big, and I my room is very small. I do not have enough space to unbox this. It's called the Big Boy Box for a reason. So here we go. We're gonna start it off. We're gonna open this baby right up, move off the lock, and let's see what it looks like. I don't really. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're gonna do this first. We're gonna take off the little little fucking. There we go. And then, we're gonna unbox it. Let's see. Woo! Oh shit, we even got stickers! Wow, we even got a letter from Edmund! Wow, hold on, before we get to that, let's see what these stickers are about. As you can see, we have the five main cast. They're just, uh, I'd say, pretty popular characters within the series. Uh, it's pretty cool. We have, we have some more stickers right here, okay. We got Guppy. We have, this is the Lost, I believe. Lucky Dice, that's Mom, I'm assuming. Brimstone and a Mom sticker. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Oh, uh, wow, what is this? This looks like just a, I, I think a poster maybe? Wow, look at that, there's so many, so many things on this poster, I can't really name it all, gonna be honest. Let's see what's on the back. Wow, just more, sh oh yeah, look at that. There's Mega Satan, a bunch of enemies, a bunch of power-ups, wow. Dude, that's super cool. Let's see what this letter from Edmund says, all right. <clears throat> Big thanks to everyone who supported the Requiem uh, Kickstarter and joined in on a pretty insane adventure. It's with your support that we were able to pack so much great stuff into this product and made it only better. But your interaction and creativity made this whole experience honestly a ton of fun for me as well. Till the next time, folks. XOXO, Edmund. As you can see right there, you got a little Edmund right there. That's the man, that's the man of the hour. Me and him go way back. Honestly, we go back. Uh, we're, we, I've known him since high school. When he told me about it, this idea about Isaac, about a little boy who cry, who beats enemies with his tears and his religion, God, Moses, the devil. I was just thinking to myself, I was like, Edmund, what the fuck are you talking about? But nonetheless, look where it brought him in. This is awesome. Let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even notice the lost. Wow. Get in the box. That's so cool. Dude, I fucking love this game. Now, let's see what's underneath all this. Ooh, okay, perfect. So we got definitely got a lot of storage space. That's good. Um, we do need it because the card game, I'll be honest, there are a lot of cards. There's a how to play manual. Pretty cool. All right. For those people who don't know, we got some goodies right here. Okay, we got some gel. I'll we'll make sure to eat that later. Uh, let's see. We got, oh, yes. This is mainly what all the content was about. Key terms. Okay, so this is for, I guess these are just keywords for the game itself. All right, so that's a little bit more assistance. Wow. We have a lot of, okay, we're gonna have a lot, a lot of packs to go through. There's a lot of characters, items. Oh, ooh, ooh we got more of the uh, create your own card stuff. I actually didn't know that. Wow, that's neat, that's neat. Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff. We got the characters right here, the who am I? Dope. Oh, man, look at all this, guys. All this for the expansion, that is crazy. Wow, that is super, super cool. They all look like they're in their own thing. This one was made by uh, creators. Uh, just I do guess different content creators giving it alternate artworks. This is I believe guest characters and just guest items uh, The rest um, I guess it's just gonna be a bunch of the same thing. Oh, this is probably just to 
divided just to keep some space. That's the big boy box right there. Let's see, we're gonna open these in a bit because these are definitely gonna take the most time. So we'll look at these little goodies. We have the little tiers. Uh, I forgot what this indicated uh, with it for the board game itself, but little Isaac tiers. Sure be able to use those. We got, what are these? These are the, oh, these are the 50 cents. Uh, we got pennies. We got two 50 cent pennies. Uh, you know, you definitely need a lot of pennies within this game. That is a currency. That's cool. We have its own custom uh, custom pennies. We got some dice. Okay, I'm a card game player. We use dice. We have a D6 with Isaac right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not bad. We got a little, I think this is a D7. Pretty, pretty nifty. Uh, these are all used for the game. So keep that in mind with most of this stuff. It is pretty cool. Like these hearts. These are pretty cool. This I'm assuming this is going to keep keep track of the of your health not bad we got a baggie right here oh shit we got some fucking nickels got some nickels right here for the game uh that it does play a big part we'll be honest <laughs> and within all this we got a fucking blue baby just dead body just hanging out with all the loot pretty cool i love that i love the details like that but yeah we got a little baggie right here just a blood bag oh with the coin logo too that's fucking sick dude they definitely put a lot of love and detail into this Super happy that this expansion is finally out. We're gonna put all the money in the little goodies in here uh, Just to keep it all in one place. There we go. All tied up. Let's get our money Alrighty, uh, let's see. We'll start off with the character cards this so now this is gonna take a while But we're gonna go on to the characters. I think these are the character cards. Who am I? Oh, what the hell? Oh These might be indicators for the actual game itself like when you lay the playmat out I'm assuming you just put these on certain stacks, so you'll put the items here, the, the main items, your characters. I'm assuming that's what it is. Pretty cool, I'm gonna lie. It's actually pretty neat. I guess it just helps, just, just aesthetically pleasing. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, let's see, we'll get into this. This is the rebalanced cards. Don't recognize the set. Gold expansion, I don't know what this is about. Recognize card, don't recognize the card symbols, the set symbols on the other side. So only words, borders, they were updated. Oh, okay, so these are updated cards. So basically kind of like erratas, I assume. Not bad. Ooh, Holy Mantle, An amazing ass item in the game. The Curse, Bloodlust, Yum Heart, Book of uh, Book of Bailiff, uh, Sleight of Hands, the D6, Dark Ruts, and the Lost. Wow, look at him, classic character. So good, so good. Oh man, that's okay. So pretty neat so far. I'm assuming these are either new cards or errata cards. Um, I, I did forget what was uh, what cards were in the base game. Uh, it has been a while since I played, but now that we have this expansion, I will be real. Me and my friends are gonna hop right back on this train. This game is really fun. If you love Isaac and you have friends to play with it. So here's some of the items. I'm not gonna go through all the names because um, obviously it's a little bit different. Some on the opposite side, but I'm gonna try to do it. We got X-ray vision, undefined, the jar. And yeah, these are just a lot of names. We're gonna try to breeze right through it. I got a homie helping me out record these. So as you can see, it's just a bunch of in-game items. Just put onto the cards. It basically follows the same concept. Uh, you for your players, you're just trying to beat enemies uh, or bosses. And basically, every time you beat a boss, you get a certain item. Uh, and once you get that, I believe, four of that item, um, you win the game. Like I said, it's been a while. Maybe it's more that you need. Um, and yeah, so these are these are basically items that like in the game would help you. And you just um, just use it to defeat the enemies to buff up your character. Uh, those are all the items. These were these are the ones that like stay with you. And then I think these ones I think are passive. I forgot. <laughs> it's really been a while, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Edmund, bro. I'm I, it's, it's, listen. I've been waiting on this for like a year, maybe two years understandable as to why you know there's a lot of there's a lot of things that like go into this first you got to make the product you got to ship it out like i understand i understand the struggle bro uh here's some of the okay just i guess just normal items we got wisdom wishbone tick and like i said if you're a fan of the series this is definitely just like all calling back to you oh black heart's very good yeah okay okay so yeah so these are just items that you could use on 
to, I guess, to, to assist you during battle. Now, one thing you can do is definitely just troll your friends. There's a lot of trolling you can do in this game. I remember there was a time where a player was about to win the game, and we all just focused him. And he just lost, he lost his money, he lost his items, he just lost so much. We just love to troll a little bit, gonna be real. But yeah, nonetheless, it uh, just looks like, a, oh yeah, a lot of coins. Definitely very important for the game. Uh, very nice, just good items, generically. Expansion, oh, uh, let's see. We're gonna get into the bosses. The bosses are actually really cool. This is what you're mainly attacking uh, within the game. This is how you gain souls. There we go, that's what it is. It get, you need souls to beat the game. I believe you need three, but I could be wrong. We have the beast. The one, I'd say one of the final bosses in the game. And then it just goes on to, you know, either just little little enemies that don't give you souls and instead give you little little power-ups, little boosts. Uh, and then, yes, we will come across bosses. Like, here we go, we are Charmed Monstro, very cute. Uh, I love, I love this game so much. I love all the creativity that goes into this. Oh, we got the curses right here. Yeah, so these, these kind of just screw you over. Uh, so very unfortunate if you get it. Ooh, Dogma. Dogma's pretty cool. And it's just super nice just to see additional content for a game that's just really fun. Uh, but like I said, li like the little, like the little note said, the, it, this is just jam-packed with content. This is the big boy box. This isn't something small. We're getting everything that's from the game uh, just put on a card so that you can kind of get a feel, uh, you know, just for Isaac and all that. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. This is the... I don't know what this is. I think this is a brand new type of card. I could be wrong. I think... So, pretty sure this represents uh, rooms. Um, we're going to see what this is all about. I already see the planetarium on the front. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm still at the point where I'm not good enough to get the planetarium, but that's fine. You know, we're still we're still grinding with Isaac. It's not done just yet. Planetarium. Oh, wow. Dude, this is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm assuming you just open up the room. Social goals? No idea what that is. Uh, yeah, so I'm assuming you just open up the room, and then this is it's going to give you with certain conditions. And I guess if you can meet them to help you out. I'm sure there's some in here that can just completely screw you over. Oh, yeah, like the, the, the dice room. This can actually be pretty good or bad. I don't know. In the game, sometimes it helps you, sometimes it fucks you. You never know. Ooh, I am air. A very, very rare thing to happen within the game. And now we have it on a card. Pretty, pretty cool. Dice room again. Okay. So we have multiple dice rooms, I'm assuming, with the different dice numbers. I would kind of just assume you get one. Yeah, there you go. You get one and then you just roll a d6. But, you know, fuck it. Might as well make multiple. Have all the dice numbers on it just to make it a little bit easier. Eden's Bliss, Dice Room, not bad, not bad. I think this is a new mechanic. I could be wrong, but I don't remember having these sideways cards. Dice Room is the last one. So that's pretty cool. Adds more content to the game, adds more fun for you and your friends to either screw each other over or help each other out. You never know. Or maybe you're that one that gets end up screwing over. So here's the alt art cards. Here's the guest cards, I'm assuming. And then here is the character cards. We're gonna go into that first because we'll go into the alt art cards last because it's basically cards that came from this expansion or pre-existing ones that now are made by content creators, which is pretty cool. Uh, here we go. We have some of the new characters right here. We have, the, uh, I don't know how to say his name. It's really hard to read the names from the angle that I'm at. So that's why I'm kind of, oh, Flash Isaac. Wow, the first Isaac. So cool. But yeah, it is a little bit hard to see from my angle. We're going to keep on trying. Ooh, pretty nice. I do believe there are some guest characters in here from other franchises, from other indie games. There's one in particular that I'm looking forward to, or at least two. Uh, hopefully we can come across it. But these are the character items. Uh, pretty cool, yeah. These are basically passive items that stick with your character. Um, a lot of cool looking ones. Hopefully, uh, ooh, what's that? Dude, just super cool. The glitch, nice, nice. I don't remember if Brimstone is in the main game. I believe it is, but if it's not, hopefully we can come across it. This is kind of cool. I don't know what this is about the Revenant. Are any of these other cards like that? It doesn't, oh, wait. These are the, I think those are the cursed cards. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Uh, maybe these meet conditions. Oh, do not start the game with this side up. Yeah, starting item flip. Okay, I see. So these are bringing in some brand new mechanics. That's pretty cool. I like that. Like I said, definitely new things to explore within this game. We're going to do the guest block. And this is a fucking... This is a chunky boy. We're going to see what we can do with this. How fast we can get through this. But yeah, some of the guest characters are in here. As you saw, there's Abe from Abe's Odyssey. Pretty cool to have. 
There's there's two in particular I'm looking forward to. The Zoomer in me just can't wait. So we got Abe, we got Ash, Baba, oh man, Blind Johnny, Blue Archer, Boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. I can't fucking believe it. The Zoomer in me is wildin' out. I just never thought I'd see him within this game. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> we got Bumbo, the weird, pretty funny. And then, yeah, oh, we got the crewmate. We got fucking Among Us. Dude, sus as fuck. Edmund himself, man. You can play as Edmund in this game and you can fucking kill him, dog. Awesome. Johnny, oh, from the movie. I haven't watched the movie, gonna be honest. We got Pink Knight. Wow, just look at all that. Just look at, oh, salad fingers. Dude, wow. Steven, Steve from Minecraft. We have the knight. Uh, and like I said, it's just kind of hard to read from this angle, but it's super cool to see these cameos. Look at all these. I'm pretty sure this is, no, that's not Enter the Gungeon. It, the round shape kind of looks like it. Uh, but yeah, it's just, ooh, we got the tank from Newgrounds. Come on, it's pretty cool. But yeah, just super, super happy, man. If you know these references, uh, like, oh, we got Twitch chat. Look at that. Oh, that's so great. That's so great, man. This is just so cool. This is all just fan service right here. This is like a big... Just like, what the fuck? What? Oh, is that the, boy, I don't even know. That's one of the characters, but thick as fuck. Hot <laughs> damn, boy. That is, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. Edmund, you're a little wild for that one. I'll give you that. We got Murder from Among Us, which hot damn, just fan service up the ass, dude. What is that, more, that's more Among Us. Hot dog, dude, this is so cool. Ooh, ooh, super cool. I believe there's more character cards. Wow, dude. Jovan, I don't know who the fuck you are, but, you know, cool to have you here, man. Aw, oh, dude. Where's, um, since I already talked about it, fucking boy from Friday Night Funk. Oh, there you go. We got the shopkeeper from, I forgot the name, but yeah, shopkeeper with the collector. Where's, uh, we got the imposter. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for, oh, cyanide and happiness. I actually didn't, I for, totally forgot about this. Oh, they're even drawn in the fucking style. That's so cool. Zombie Jesus? Damn. All right, I want that character. Let's see, hopefully, we're gonna come across it soon. Uh, is you? This is you? <laughs> uh, there's one, since Friday Night Funkin' was in here, uh, obviously, there you go, we gotta have girlfriend. I'm assuming this is passive item, belongs with a boyfriend. Super cool to have, but honestly, like I said, it is just, it is just crazy just to have all these like, just all these, I guess, just guest characters, all this fan service in this game, just like for you to play. It's just, it's just cool. Like I'm speechless. I really don't know what to say. There's not much to go over because what you see is what you get. Just a lot of goodies. The Isaac of Isaac. It's Isaac right there, as you can tell. It's just super cool, man. This big box is just, just big fan service. Thank you again, Edmund. If, uh, because of this, me and my friends are gonna have lots of fun. Just gonna have tons of fun just trolling each other. Just playing, you know, boyfriend against uh, the imposter, against fucking Isaac, all in one game, just super great. And now one thing I've been looking forward to is the alternate art cards made by content creators. This is super cool. Uh, I'm assuming he just hit up a lot of content creators and like I said, more fan service, they got to make their own cards. So uh, some of these I don't know off the bat, hopefully you do. Uh, this is Judas Altar, we have a Lilith, yeah, I don't know some of these artists. I think, I don't think they say it on the card themselves. It's more so you kind of just got to know just to know, I assume. Uh, we got the Keeper, Altar, and these are all just existing cards. I'm pretty, oh yeah, this is Burb, pretty funny. Um, these are all existing cards that just have alternate artworks. I'm pretty sure this is the creator of Newgrounds, drawn in the Pico style, amazing. Uh, there was one in here that uh, I was looking forward to just because of the joke. Uh, Chris Chan was supposed uh, had made his own card for this game, uh, but unfortunately, due to some yike stuff, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, he uh, I'm pretty sure his card was removed, and somebody else had made an artwork. Look at that! That's fucking gnarly! Wow, so cool. The lamb, damn! This looks like some Junji Ito shit. That's super cool. And yeah, some of these are completely rad. I was really hoping for the Chris Chan one, just cause, just cause it was funny, but you know, he fucked up, done some weird shit, um, you know, it is what it is, but yeah, nonetheless, oh my gosh, dude, dude, yeah, these altar cards are just beautiful, man, Mega Satan, I believe this is actually, um, it's actually a real prop that they made, and they actually sold, if you dropped, I think, a thousand dollars on their biggest tier, 
which is pretty cool. So I'm assuming they just took a picture of it and put it on a card. That's pretty nice. Mom's leg, yeah, dude. <sighs> this is Meat Canyon. I know for a fucking fact this is Meat Canyon. This is Meat Canyon, no fucking way. Wow, I actually didn't know that they got him on that. But it kind of sucks that I forgot. Uh, you know, I don't know majority of these artists. Uh, you can go back, I believe, on the Kickstarter page and see the people that designed these. So it's not all bad. <laughs> you got the fucking... <laughs> I forgot his name, but dude... I'm assuming he doesn't, he can't draw, so he just straight up took a picture of himself as Daddy Long Legs. Amazing. That is so fucking funny. Definitely gonna play with the alt arts instead of the originals. Super, super good. This looks like, okay, so definitely the comic artist is right here. I don't remember their name, but their style is very iconic. And dude, just all these artists coming together to make these Isaac cards look so, so nice. Dude, but no Christian card. And you know what? I'd rather keep it that way. I'd rather not support all that. Look at that. Claymation, wow. And then we're going to end it off with that. Wow. Super, super cool. That is a nice stack of alt art cards. Very nice. We did know some artists. I'm sure hopefully you guys knew some too. But yeah, nonetheless, that looks like it's everything. We got our little baggie. We got our cards. We got a, this is a how to play guide and such. This is a little, I'm assuming this is a poster. Pretty cool poster. Got some stickers, uh, more rules, our, our note from Edmund. I don't know. Here we go. We got more of this. Uh, this and this are bought separately though, because I'm a fucking beast and I love Isaac. I love Isaac a lot. And nonetheless, this is what you get with the big boy gox. You get all these nice ass cards, uh, you know, from new cards, uh, maybe some reprints, like I said, I could be wrong. New characters, all tarts, a bunch of guest content. Uh, you know, little, little goodies for the actual game itself. Some sticker add-ons, create your card. So a little rule. And you know from Edmund himself, all, all in this nice ass box that I got right here. All from this. Very, uh, I, I, I believe I spent $60 on the box. Um, I could be wrong, but nonetheless, it is jam packed of content. I'm super happy for the third time. Thank you, Edmund. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with friends because of this. And it's all you to think. I know we were tight since high school, bro. You told me this idea. I thought it was fucking wild, but I stuck with you, bro. I'm here for you. I'm a Kickstarter, okay? Like, I, 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 I'm a real one. Uh, then one last look inside the box. Yeah, this is basically a storage. This is gonna hold all your little goodies. Uh, it's gonna hold the base game, uh, all the DLC, because I'll be honest, this is a lot of fucking stuff. So it's really good that we do have a storage for this. But yeah. Nonetheless, uh, thank you, Edmund. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, th uh, this is definitely the type of new unboxing style that um, I wanted to try. You know, just uh, I can be a little bit more expressive, not tight in my room. But yeah. Um, that's about it. I recommend this product if you guys want to have uh, some fun with your friends. Buy the original one if you like Isaac and then buy this for add-on content. Super, super good. Um, no regrets. Beautiful. But yeah, like I said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.